The idea of ice hockey players being able to legally fight is typically only found in commercial leagues. In international competitions like the Winter Olympics, fighting is banned. But in an intense contact sport like hockey, where fans love the excitement of watching players battle it out, fights between players are commonly seen. In many commercial leagues, there are even official rules on how one should fight, with many teams even recruiting enforcers to specifically handle fights with opponents. To initiate a fight, a player will throw down his hockey stick. If his opponent throws down his stick too, that means he accepts the challenge and the fight begins. It has to be a one-on-one -on -one fight. Players can't use anything but their bare fist, and helmets cannot be taken off. Once the fight begins, the hockey game stops temporarily as the other players watch their teammates duel it out. But it's not uncommon for things to get out of control. At the 1987 U-20 World Championships, a brawl of epic proportions broke out between the Canadian and Soviet teams, lasting 20 minutes. Referees had no choice but to cut the lights in an attempt to end the fight. And more recently, a fight even broke out in the February 9th Men's Winter Olympics hockey game between the Russian Olympic Committee team and the Swiss team. A referee even took a punch himself while trying to break up the fight. But in all fairness, hockey is still a sport rich in etiquette and respect. Removing one's helmet to salute, knocking the ice with one's hockey stick to applaud, and high fives to congratulate are all common ways of displaying respect and good sportsmanship in hockey. Yep, that explains it.